Hi, it's Peter here with Infotech TV. Today I have the opportunity to interview one of the experts in thin client computing, Mr. Johnny Deere. Mr. Deere, now let's get right into it. What is thin client computing? Well, thanks for having me on the show today, Mr. Pan. Thin client computing is a term used to describe a computer system where the main computing occurs on a server. In other words, the user can make a request and it will be reformed by the server that may be in a completely different room. It's essentially like connecting different devices all into one central processing unit. It's much less expensive and much easier to maintain this way. So is it just a screen and mouse or what? Well, thin client computing can take two different forms, stateless or diskless. Stateless means that all the components on the client is the keyboard, mouse, and display, with all the graphics, processing, and data input being controlled on the main server. These kinds of systems often have the operating system located on the server rather than on the client. This is what I think you were thinking of in the question, Mr. Pan. I'll call me Peter. All right there, Peter. Uh, however, another form of thin client computing is called diskless. This means that the processing is performed on the thin client, but nothing is saved on it. This resembles the traditional computer because it can have its own operating system and use power. However, it is still dependent on the central server. Ah, oh, great. When did this really become mainstream? Is it mainstream yet? Good question. Actually, yes it is. Thin client computing actually started whenever the first computers were used in corporations. Most of the time, companies would have one central mainframe which handled all the data processing. Then when modern computers came around, data processing began to occur on people's desktops. Finally, in 1995, a company called Winframe released a product that connected smart terminals on their desk, connected to a mainframe that was much more powerful. This was how thin client computing started. I didn't know all that. So what's so great about thin client computing? It sounds like a good idea, but I'm not really sold right now. Can you explain the uh, benefits to me? Yes, Peter. Um, I would say there's three big benefits of thin client computing. Um, those three would be decreased cost, security, and flexibility. I would say decreased cost because you know, the hardware, you don't use as, as many pieces of hardware as you do in normal standard PCs or in thick clients. And also power because um, thin clients use 14% of energy that PCs normally use. So over uh, the cost of over five years, the savings would be about 25% because 5% is saved in its acquisition cost per year. Security because it's a huge concern of any business. And thin clients utilize this very effectively. It's, it's helpful to help thwart uh, viruses and keep everything centralized. So if there is a problem, you know, they could just tackle it right there at the central location. Flexibility because speed is of the essence in any company. Time is money, and in thin clients, time can be saved due to its characteristics of being flexible. You know, fewer IT personnel are needed to to update and manage the the, the servers. Um, but when when that time comes to be you know, when the software needs to be updated, um, it's great because you just upload it, and then all you just have to do is simply log off and log back on with no extra installation needed, which is a huge perk because you know, there will be no different versions of software running at the same time. Yes, I, I bet you could go on and on about the benefits of thin client computing, but it sounds like you're a little biased. So, uh, can you tell us some of the potential drawbacks? Yeah, sure. There are some potentially noteworthy drawbacks. Um, the first one being speed. You have all these users accessing the same server. Naturally, there will be slower speeds when, you know, when it's being utilized. When I say speeds are slower, I'm talking milliseconds here, which may not seem like a big deal, but it's definitely noticeably slower to the user. With today's systems processing jobs in a fraction of a hundredth of a second, the difference of a millisecond is magnitude slower. There is also a potential problem with reliability. If the server goes down, then no one can do work. If a person with a PC has a problem, then that is one person who is temporarily set back. If a central server goes down with a thin client system, well, work isn't finished. Work won't get done. Production will get lost, which uh, which could then equate to money being lost. Do you have any specific examples or experiences of thin client computing successes and failures? Well, I have many experiences, but with uh, thin client computing, you know, with many many companies have had unsuccessful and successful transitions to a thin client system. Unsuccessful. First, they didn't have an IT staff knowledgeable enough to foresee and prevent any catastrophic problems, which you know which have occurred. 
Second, they went with the wholesale switch all at once, and they had a few minor problems, and they didn't have a backup plan. On the other side, I have seen many companies have a successful transfer switch to thin client computing, while others have started up using thin client computing already. These companies have realized real monetary savings and increases in productivity.